Damon Claiborne now checks in on first down. Claiborne with room to run. Breaks it to the open field. He's going to go. A touchdown. 42 yards for Claiborne. And Wake Forest takes the lead with 3-0-2 to go in this one. Got real good. Vayer on third and 10 from his own 25. Time in the pocket, over the middle, it is caught. His receiver, Dejon Reynolds, with a big first down there. Converted that one. And the crowd getting loud again for those that say that this place doesn't have passion. That's not the case. Bartholomew with a catch down to the 43-yard line. It'll be with his skill set. Second and two, Vayer. Hands it off to Flemister, dancing in the backfield, breaks into the second level, picks up the first down as he's down at the 35-yard line, an eight-yard gain. Crowd amping up again. Bayer, all day to throw. Launches one to the sidelines, caught by Means for another first down. Crowd worried a bit, pressure coming. Bayer launches one to the end zone, it's caught for a touchdown! 22 yards to Bob Means, the vertical threat. They talk about his center of gravity. They talk about how he takes the top off. You witnessed it right there. 19 to go, first and 10 from the 37-yard line. Marucci flings one down the field. It's caught by Banks inside the 40-yard line. Jamal Banks, what a catch there. In the backfield. The third running back for Wake Forest. Marucci launches one. And it's picked off! MJ Devonshire! But a flag on the play! There's a man down as well. The result of the play is an interception. After the play was over, on sportsmanlike conduct, Pittsburgh number three pulling an opponent off the pile. That penalty is enforced half the distance to the goal. Also after the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, Pittsburgh number three, his second of the game. That penalty will also be enforced half the distance to the goal, and number three is ejected. And that is Donovan McMillan who has been ejected. Wait, but just a great job in coverage right there, understanding Jamal Banks' ability and how he goes up and makes acrobatic catches, but Great job to see in the football the whole entire time right there to come up with a huge Bayer keeps it. He's got the first down. Slides. Oh, wait. Wait a second. He may have started to slide short of the first down from where he slid. Let's take a look. Field is the runner was short of the line to gain. It's fourth down. How close he was. So where does he begin his life? Ooh. See, that's the trick, right? It's it always, it's always about where do you initially yeah. start to pull up yeah. and where that football is. It's right, you want to keep the clock going, and it's right there but, on the sideline. But line. he had room still. Yeah. He could have done it. He could have kept going for a little bit. And a bad punt here. Out of bounds. Morin takes it near midfield. Third and 11. 28 seconds to go in the game. Pressure coming. Marucci flushed out of the pocket, being chased, throws an ill-advised pass, but it's complete at the 40-yard line to Keyshawn Williams. He's going to be just shy of the first down marker, though. At the very least, with 20 seconds to go, Williams in motion, fourth down, Marucci. He's got Keyshawn Williams for the first down, and then some cutting across the field, taken down at the 15-yard line, a huge first down. Stop the clock, they'll have to spike it here quickly, and they do. 12 seconds left on the clock, and Wake Forest is in field goal range. From the 15-yard line, Marucci over the middle, it's caught! Touchdown! Cameron Height! With the touchdown, Wake Forest takes the lead, 15 yards, and Marucci 
Just a few seconds away from being a legend on homecoming week. Unbelievable job of surveying the field, but I love that he goes to the big tight end Cameron Height right here. Six. Bayer. Roland launches it down the field. It is caught. But that'll do it. Not enough time. Mumfield with the catch. And Wake Forest gets their first victory against Pitt. Santino Marucci. That kid is a baller. Celebration here in Winston-Salem.